20 bucks is 20 bucks, quite literally, for yep, Alex. That's what, that's what I heard. Yeah, I heard that many times. Buddy. Especially as a business owner, 20 bucks Oh my bucks God, is 20 what kind bucks. of chat is this? Is this the new chat? Hey, what's hey, going on, guys? How you doing? It's me. It's YouTube. Alex. How it's fantastic. Yeah. Check this out. We're here at Casino Quest. Yep. We are going to do a CEG Dealer School chat. We're doing a and chat. Let's talk about most important casino games. Oh my God, big topic. Yep. That's like easily one of the number one questions we get asked. Yeah. Number one, uh, blackjack. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna talk about, the reason why it's very important, because all uh, the time we get here, students at the school, like literally uh, I just got a message today, and they said, hey, I wanna learn crafts itself. Nowadays in the casinos, you have to know blackjack first. Gotta so know blackjack. blackjack is number one. Number one. Blackjack is very important because we get students all the time. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to. I know. Let me learn blackjack, roulette, and whatever together. But the problem is, guess what? You audition. Your blackjack is not up to par. Yeah. The audition ends right there. Yep. Yeah, you can't get in without blackjack. By the way, so, oh God, I keep coming back to the same customer. He asked a great questions, by the way, he's fantastic. So he, uh, so this guy came in today, he was talking to me about, so, cause he really wanted to sort of, not, not really bypass blackjack, but you know, he thought that might've been an option, but I'm like, dude, so in black, the reason why blackjack is so fundamental, cause it introduces you to all the mechanics of like, yeah. that plays out in every other game. It's literally basic casino fundamentals. Yep, you know, sizing checks, working with cards, managing yeah. table. It would it would literally be like, if you learn craps the other game, it would yep. literally be like pushing off black diamond if it was a skiing. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, uh, blackjack's kind of like the bunny hill. The bunny hill, yeah, because yeah. you need to learn the bunny hill. Craps you know what I mean? It's literally like black diamond. What is it? The pizza, the french fry. The pizza, the french fry. You yeah. ever done that pizza yeah, fry? Th that's literally what blackjack is pizza, french fry. Yeah, pizza, french like, fry, yeah. Craps would be like french fries. French Alps. <laughs> yeah, right to the diamond. Mount Everest. Here Mount you Everest go. with Boop. SR. Yep. Number two is craps. Yep, craps is big. In terms of most important games, yeah. Craps is big. Every every single casino. There's literally recently we had one casino that said, you know what, we're good on crap dealers now because it's a place that a lot of people want to go and deal craps to get some great action. And there are casinos where so many people gravitate to that as a game, really love dealing crafts, but literally you're never gonna be turned away for knowing dice. Yep. You know what I mean? It's so fundamental. They're so rare to have good, good crap dealers. Or we call them dice dealers. Once you start out as a crap dealer, but once you know a little something, dice dealer. Out of the major four games, blackjack, roulette, baccarat, craps, which is what we're talking about. Yep. Craps is the most difficult game. So roulette is a bit is also a very strong fundamental game to have. Yes. It's sometimes difficult to get on a roulette. A lot of people gravitate. If you don't gravitate to dice, you gravitate to roulette. So a lot of people get sort of stuck in, you know, they love dealing roulette. Yep. It's one of those things where once you get on the casino floor, you're gonna like dealing roulette or you're gonna like dealing uh, dice. You know, you gravitate to one of those games. Now, dice is dice. Like dice will help you all throughout your career. Roulette, not so much until you're a great roulette dealer. Okay, you get about a year yep. under your belt, and then you go to single zero. Yep, European roulette, or what we call big. SR. SR is so, big now. Yep. Places like Cosmo, Bellagio, looking for SR dealers. Yep. Pont, we've gotten people recently into some yep. high-end properties looking for SR. Yep. But SR is a very complex game, requires some very dedicated training. Now that, that game is like literally craps and steroids. I mean, I don't wanna, see that's the thing, like there are levels to craps. Yeah. I mean, maybe like it's a little more complex than like basic craps, like enough for you to learn to break in. But a more advanced craps, I think, pushes past, yep. you know, the SR class. But it is, it is the progressives and, and how, you know, because this is, when you deal SR, you're dealing to VIP, yep. high limit players and you have to know literally everything stat. Like you don't have yeah. the option of like peeking underneath, see what number came up. You, know, you have to like know literally everything. By the way, does anybody ever like dealing Bach? Did you ever like dealing Bach? I like Bach? dealing Bach, right? You know what, we recently ran into someone who we got a fantastic job for. You know who I'm talking about? Maybe. From Australia? Yes, Michelle. Oh, fantastic person yes. by the way, we love Michelle. Hi Michelle, hope you're having fun over there. <laughs> And she is one of the first people to say, I love, she loves, she told me she had I like Baccarat. I Baccarat love high it. limit Baccarat. She wants to see people sweat the money, like just sweat yeah. it. Like not, not the, not the supervisors, but Baccarat. the players, literally like just yeah. Baccarat beating is, out. Baccarat is a difficult game, only yep. because of the fact that Baccarat, there can be zero mistakes. And very big money, yep. big The money. most action out of all the games too. Yep. 175,000 a hand was what I dealt at wow. the Cosmo. Yes, Uncle yeah, Robert, 
Uncle Robert, instructor at the school, 400,000 a ham. Wow. Yep. That's big. You can't make two a mistake Bentleys, of 400,000. Two Bentleys a ham. Wow. Really? What kind of Bentleys? Mm -hmm. That's not, Bentley Azor is like I mean, let me, let's put it into David that's, terms. If it's a 246 menu, two, you four, can get, six menu you can get 100,000 orders of pancakes for oh one hand of Oh my God, I'm rock. so in, dude. I'm so in. So if you want to go center strip, a lot of carnival games, because they're always competing for new customers or for a lot of the Midwestern, yep. Central US tourists. So they'll have like tons, like you go to Paris, and uh, they got ton, they got Mississippi stud. We, me and Alex walked through there not too long ago and they literally have like, I couldn't believe it, Let a Ride, Mississippi stud, they yep. had them all. Like it's yep. amazing, I haven't seen those games in forever. Yep. But all those uh, center strip properties have like, you know, all the carnival games because they, they have a lot of Midwestern tourists, this type of thing. Yep. So I, I would say big six, not a big priority for those of you familiar with the big six. That's <laughs> that big wheel that goes yep. Uh, they had the one person that can't deal is usually put or looks smoking hot on the big six. You guys should try to break in at a casino or try to get all the games down as soon as you can. The reason why I say mm -hmm. that is because mm -hmm. if you know craps later on, mm -hmm. you, it's really hard for you to break in at a casino when it's all $25 minimum craps. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No, it's you up. can't break in at Caesar's Palace on craps. That's know? almost another topic, but basically what we try to impress on you is like- Try to learn the games early. Learn the games early, yep. come to the school, because sometimes you'll get stuck. When you get to your first job, they're gonna leave you, they might leave you on like one game. That's why we love some of our, some of our partners, like we help you go to casinos where they're gonna rotate you, put you on a rubber band, move you around, Yep. you know what I'm saying? So that you can deal more than one game because you lose it. We just had a dealer come back to us looking for a new job, but has only dealt one game yep. for the last four months, just blackjack, right? Yep. So, you know, you wanna, and by the way, when you're at your new casino, impress on them that you know these other games. Make sure you get some time in on these games, get to, get to practice in them, because yep. you, otherwise you won't be confident to get to your next audition. That's yep. a little bit of a tangent, but yep. that's no. about, that's about no. games and priorities. Try to learn the games early so you can practice all yep. of them so you can move forward. Yep. That's all. And then come to a good, go to a good school. Yep and get some practice in. Yep. One of the things I want to tell you guys is that mm. it's not just like, if you know barely the basics, like mm. for example, at the Cosmopolitan, when I auditioned, which is one of the top casino jobs in town, mm. it's not, not just how many games you know, it's your average skill set of those games. Yeah. So when you audition, they literally go one to 10 for each game that you know. Yeah. So it's you tough. being a three out of 10 and a four out of 10 is not going to help you get that top job. The top yep. job is, Eight out of ten, nine out of ten. Yep, because there are twenty people behind Alice wanting that same job. That's yep. the thing. Like Bellagio, they have this like dealer. They have this interview uh, room, this auditioning room, and we had a dealer that went there not too long, about a year ago, and they did like this really rookie mistake in terms of color up, and boom, yep. failed the audition, lost the job. And just to give you an example too, Cosmopolitan, even when the casino opened, it was against the, it was market crash. People were worried. Yep. There was like what, 500 casino job openings? Yeah, and tons. They, they, yeah, two, they were gonna hire like 500 dealers or 1,000 dealers, something like that. They had 10,000 applicants. Yeah. So it, you, when you first start in the casino job, it's not competitive, but when you get into the bigger, bigger casino jobs, it's very competitive. Hyper competitive. Yep, very You gotta be set apart. The way you set yourself apart is learning all the games. Like we talk about what are the most important games, really like that, all of them. Yep. They all, once you once you want to go to like a really yep. big casino, that becomes the important thing is all of them. All of them yep. become very important. And when I we mean all of them, there's four main games, blackjack, roulette, bock and dice. And then there is at least three specialty games, two or three carnival games that you should know, of which one is always Pie Gal. Pie Gal is like the big uh, specialty game. Yep. Then you have Ultimate Texas Hold'em, probably two, yep. right? Three card poker. And then three card poker. Yeah, yep, there's a few other miscellaneous. And cherry on top, European Roulette, SR. Not big Single six. zero. No. Not, not uh, what about like Kino Ambassador? Dude, I'm, I'm there. Can you imagine? No. Just Kino Ambassador. That's like my dream job, dude. Thank you guys for watching. Let me help you watching. with your numbers, sir. Oh my gosh. Let me help you with your numbers. <laughs> yeah, let me pull out the bingo ball thing. Is that a game? All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys, you guys for watching. Check Thanks out for our page. In. Yeah, check out our Patreon page. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe All to our channel. Stuff. Any questions, you're looking to become a dealer, comment below. Or we'll email us. Yeah, hit or us call up. call us. Discord. Hit me or up Discord. on there. Apparently he's on Discord now, yep. so he gets nothing done all day long. I'm yep. always calling him like, what's going on? I'm on Discord, mm -hmm. I'm busy. Thank you guys for watching. We'll Thank see you guys you. next time. Bye. Bye.